Welcome to the STARS program, seniors taking active roles in society. And now, here's your host, Anita Finley. Well, I've got a group here for everybody. Sit down in your seats. If it's, uh, if it's early in the morning you're hearing this show, you're going to be awakened fast. Okay, so let's see. We're talking about Extreme Action Park, the go-kart place down in Broward County at 5300 Powerline. And in the studio, to really go hippity-hop here, is Patrick Pyrus, who is the vice president of this whole thing, Lizzie J., who knows everybody and does everything for it, Elizabeth Summerfield, who's calling in, and she is the uh, marketing director, and then Patrick Glover, and Patrick Glover is the per- first person I met, and you're responsible for this whole thing, Patrick, and you're teaching at Palm Beach State College in Boca, and I don't even know where to start, but let me start with actually uh, with you, Patrick, and you're both Patrick's, but Patrick P., I'm going to do it that way, Patrick P., why are we all here? Anita, it's always a pleasure being here, of course, we're, we're happy to... Uh, be a part of your show, and um, lots of exciting things happening. So uh, we're we're looking forward for the grand opening of Extreme happening July 17th. Uh, that whole weekend will be action packed. Uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So you you better be there. Oh, I will be there. But you know, when I think about this, uh, Patrick G, <laughs> I first met you, and you certainly blew my mind with your electric skateboards and everything else you were creating over there. Uh, how did you get involved in all this? Well, we, we were doing a little bit of Christmas shopping uh, some months back, and uh, we stumbled across a great company called Thick Electric Skateboards, and from there, the rest is history. That's F-I-I-K. F-I-I-K. Stands for? Future is a knowledge. That's it. Future is a knowledge. Okay, so that's when we met, mm-hmm. and then you kind of moved on with some other stuff. Correct. Uh, I, along with Patrick Pyrus, we've designed a curriculum called Electric Skateboarding 101. And we can't forget Aaron, the CEO. And it, it's been great. Uh, all of us were brought together to do great things. And, and in the curriculum, we've incorporated it into Palm Beach State College's summer youth college. And they've adopted it going to the fall and the spring four semesters uh, pretty much until we get tired, you know, of the partnership. So we're, we're, we're happy. Well, the one thing that uh, Lizzie and I, of course, knew right away that uh, this is really not just for guys. It's for gals, too. And so maybe we need to uh, just bring in uh, Elizabeth Summerfield. Hi, Elizabeth. Oh, she's not here yet. Oh, okay. When she calls, we'll get her on. That's okay. We got enough in the studio without Elizabeth. So we'll just take over, Lizzie. So, Lizzie, you knew the men can't take this over. The women have to be doing this, too. What are we going to do to show them up? Yes, well, we got to rock it. And, uh, you know, honestly, the fixed skateboards are a perfect opportunity to get on that motorized vehicle and show them how it's done. Um, we have just as much fun. And we bring sexy back. <laughs> bring sexy back. Okay, so let's just go into this a little bit. Um, this is a little bit new for me to go to the Extreme Action Park. I've really, I've been to something similar but not where they have the carts are going to go 55 miles an hour are you going to let older people do this too well you know today we are in a different era of technology and and this allows us to actually control the speed of the go-karts from a location so basically depending in the type of people we have riding them we can control the speed. And that probably explains why Aaron Parkinson, the CEO, always wins. <laughs> <laughs> For some yep. reason, his go-kart typically goes faster than mine. On a straightaway, I can't keep up with him. And uh, But he, he calls all the shots, so we let him win for now. Okay, okay well, that for now, right. But that was my question. I haven't seen it in action. So how many can go at the same time? Uh, it's usually between 8 to 15 uh, go-karts. Uh, these are, are gas go-karts, and uh, they're very high-end. Um, you know, the go-kart track is, is really well-built. It was designed for speed. It's got a great straightaway, really nice sharp turns. It's, it's a lot of fun. And uh, you've seen, we, we, we've taken you there. You've seen what we've done. It's so hard to explain. Uh, hopefully, we can put some pictures up on the video on the web so people at home uh, have an opportunity to see because it's, it's a incredible what they've done with that racetrack I mean, especially when it comes to the artwork on the walls you saw it that Winwood, that's right you brought the artists over there but the thing that impressed me is when you walk in 
It's like being in another world. And so many parents don't know what to do with the children when they're having parties or what, what are they going to do. They could turn them loose at this place. What are all the things there, Lizzie? Oh, we have everything. It's a huge state-of-the-art arcade room. Um, we have a collection of desert cars there, um, rare, odd-looking cars sometimes. But um, we are definitely fully loaded. We've got a nice bowling alley in the works, and it's just going to be just the major fun zone. And there's a place for the parents, too. They can kick back, relax, have events there if they like. It's just a world of opportunity for a great time. And now Patrick P., we have Elizabeth S. Summerfield on the air, so should we let her talk? Yes, definitely. Elizabeth is going to be able to bring us up to speed. We've been trying to do our best here to explain, but she is the marketing director for Extreme Action Park, and she has all the inside information we need to know. Elizabeth, this is a danger zone. Are you ready? I am ready. <laughs> okay. Well, tell me what got you into this. Um, actually, I uh, I developed my my uh, my affinity for the racing the go-karts when I started here at Extreme a few years ago. And uh, basically, um, I learned a lot about racing, a lot about karting, and how much fun it is. And then from there, I got to get together with the new owners of Extreme Action Park and be involved in the development of this amazing new entertainment center. It's good. And Virginia, I'm mean, sorry, excuse me, Elizabeth, I was thinking... That this isn't just a place for kids who are 16 or 9 or 10. It's really a place for the boomers because it's going to offer them an opportunity to bring their grandchildren. Some of them are definitely going to go uh, on these because he knew Magic Patrick, both Patricks and, and, and um, <clears throat> Lizzie, when they get older. Do you think they're going to not be wanting to do this also? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, there, there's so many. There's really something for everyone here, um, between the bowling and the rope course and the arcade. There's something to keep everyone entertained. And I was thinking about people who want to have big parties. They never know. You know, it's the same old thing. You go, you have dinner, and then you maybe you do some dancing. But now you can just turn everybody loose into the arcade. <laughs> exactly. And what's really exciting is that. Part of the renovation included an amazing banquet room that we're going to be unveiling a little bit later, probably August or September. 5,200 square foot banquet room, ready for any size event. It's wonderful. And you know, Patrick, um, Patrick P., we have two Patricks here, um, Elizabeth, so oh. I have to do this. <laughs> so, Patrick P., uh, you really have, when I first met you, 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 this is a secret. You never told me about this place. I thought you were just doing electric skateboards and the electric go -kart, uh, golf cart. This is definitely one of the best kept secrets. Uh, we were sort of a holding off and in, in letting in letting it out of the bag, uh, but the the overall vision is to give people of all ages an experience. We want people to walk in there and and just come out thinking, "Oh my God, th this was phenomenal!" Like Elizabeth was saying, there's something for everyone. And and you had the opportunity to do a walkthrough with Ooh. me yesterday. The de the amount of detail. Uh, and the amount of uh, different amenities and different games, they, I mean, it's just endless. You can literally spend all day there and uh, go home wanting more. Well, it's really the kids, you know, and, of course, that's when uh, we can talk to Patrick G. Because, Patrick, um, you're dealing with the kids. Now, they're not easy to uh, to entertain. You know that. They're all wild nowadays. they got so many things. Can you imagine turning those students of yours loose on this? Oh, yeah, they're going to have a great time, and it's lots of excitement, lots of positive things. It's a great environment. And uh, whenever you can uh, merge education, technology, the youth, uh, you know, that's a way of giving back in a, in, a, in a nutshell. So we're definitely excited about the whole process, and we're looking to promote it globally and domestically full force. Right. And are there other uh, – I'm going to ask you, Elizabeth, are there other places like this here in South Florida? Not that I've seen. There really isn't. Nothing that caters to all ages the way that we do. Nothing that's new and exciting and, and over the top. And actually, your location is perfect, being in off commercial and power line. And uh, it's between Miami-Dade and Palm Beach County. That's what Lizzie was so excited about yesterday when we talked about it. Uh, and, of course, it was funny that Lizzie is the young one. I don't know. Are you younger than Patrick? Is Patrick? Oh, yes, just a little bit. Just a little bit <laughs> younger, so you know what it's like. So 
Um, from your perspective, do women like this as much as men? Oh, absolutely. We're not talking about sex now. We're talking. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about racing. Yes, absolutely. You got to get that rush, that feeling. Sometimes you just got to go to the extreme, and literally, um, <laughs> that's what we love to do. Um, so it's a great time to actually get out there and be in competition with each other, see who really beats and, who. So and who's can I please? Can I please interject that? Um, okay. I can tell you from experience that women drivers are much better than men drivers. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. I don't <laughs> know about that. Okay. The track. I don't know. Thank you, Elizabeth. <laughs> and yeah. let, me, let, me, let me just tell you why. And the main reason why is because women drivers tend to be, women tend to be smaller framed and lighter. And that is always an advantage when it comes mm. to racing in a go-kart. And our top, in fact, for a while, our top or record um, lap time was always held by a woman. Oh, yay, women. But thank wait, you, thank you. Yeah, I want to ask, what about that wall that was being climbed? I want to see some competition there. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> Let's go. Yep. But, but actually, that was unusual. And you know what impressed me is all the improvements. Someone here in our studio, our producer, was saying, oh, is that that place that I went to a few years ago? And, of course, Patrick Pierce said, no, it's all been changed. And when I walked through it, all the improvements, I mean, I was never there before, so I wouldn't have known. But you have put one big wad of money into this place. Is oh, that- yeah. Yeah, they've done a lot. They've definitely done a lot. And it's just the beginning. Uh, tell me a little bit, maybe Patrick, you can, Patrick Pierce, about the uh, the antique cars. That really See, that's going to bring in an older crowd, which is great. Yeah, one of our uh, partners with the uh, whole uh, business is the Desert Museum in uh, from Miami, and um, I mean these guys hold an incredible uh, collection of very rare um, cars in in general, and we are very uh, proud to have that partnership because they're bringing the excitement of these cars, which is going to attract a lot of traffic uh, to to extreme. So, and you know you have go karts and you have uh, all all of these elements, and then having the cars there. Um, I'm talking about cars that are b- basically jaw dropping. I mean, uh, automobiles that you most people have never seen anything like it. So this is going to add an element of sophistication. Uh, this is going to attract a different type of demographic as well. And the interesting fact is that when you go to get inside the museum, you have to go through through the facility where you'll be able to see all the action that is going on there. You've seen the uh, state of the art arcade. You've seen the Ninja Ropes course, which, you know, we've had already, you know, NBA stars go there and, and have a blast. Uh, the, the go-kart track indoors, is, it's incredible. And, you know, the, the bowling now, skating. Yeah, eight mean, lanes of bowling. Correct. Is it eight or 16, Elizabeth? I forgot it for a it's moment. Actually, it's actually 10 lanes. 10 They're lanes. recreational bowling lanes. And then four of the 10 are mini lanes, which is great if you want to speed up your game <laughs> right right huh i don't know about that but uh but well, what about the um the actual arcade itself so when you go in is it one ticket and then you get to do everything or how do you do that um actually you when you come in you'll you'll receive a, a game card a membership card and you can um load the cards on your own at our self-serving kiosk and then it's free play you just go pay as you play are you, I, I'm sure you're planning this, but um, I have grandchildren, I'm nine-year-old grandchildren. They're uh, triplets in Miami, and whenever they have parties, their parents always find places like this, and then they turn loose. They may have 30, 40 kids or, to the party, and they never see them again for hours. Is this your plan? That's a great plan. Yes, that, oh. that, that is the plan. You can come, have your party, and set the kids free. It's a safe environment. Everybody has a good time, and, you know, you can, you can find them all around areas of the, of the arcade. It's nice. Okay, one thing you may have forgotten, and uh, while my kids are doing that, are you going to have a room for massage? I mean, good massage. I'm not, you know, I mean, real massage. Because I want to no, wait. That could always be added. <laughs> That's right. I want to wait there and, and, you know, be massaged so I don't have to worry about anything. But... I think the opportunity is fantastic there, and I can't wait for us to do some uh, to, some TV out of that and to really make people see this. You know, the, the show we're doing now, we're probably going to put on YouTube. 
So you'll be able to see us crazies here in the the broadcast studio. Yeah, and I'm going to be sending you some videos and photos that we can actually put on the YouTube video so the folks at home have an opportunity to see what we're talking about. But guys, let's remember that the grand opening is right around the corner. I'm talking about July 17th, 18th, and 19th. We have been meeting every day. Elizabeth and I were together today on a brainstorm session Coming up with, the, with with different ideas, uh, we we have a few different uh, NBA players coming in. Lots of UFC guys. Uh, we have DJ Irie uh, coming in to to be hosting the party. It, it's going to be phenomenal. We'll have food, drinks. This is an opportunity for people to come out and see for themselves what we're talking about. We have a little bit more of information on act on extremeactionpark.com. Uh, um, you know, if anybody wants to jump in there and see what's going on, there's some photos and some things you can see. But, yeah, the grand opening is July 17th, and Anita, you better be there. Yeah, I will. I'm, I'm putting it on my calendar to be there. I'm going to fly in my helicopter. Perfect. Yeah, I'm going to be there. Okay, so so what can um, what can we expect, though? We just walk in, and then uh, will people have to pay? This isn't just opening uh, free. People pay to go in, and they can be there all day for the same price? Uh, no, actually, it's open to the public. You can just walk in, look around, and you, you pay as you play. So you if pay as you play? In, yeah, you yeah, don't have pay to pay to get play. in. You go in, you get your card, and you can load up, you know, as, as little as $5, as much money as you want, and then you, you get to have fun. And this is my big question. Can I bring my little doggy? Ooh. Are you allowing but, any pets in there? No, and unfortunately, no no pets at this time. Um, okay. Hopefully, in some of the expansion, we are talking about um, expanding outdoors, and that's a that's still a little ways, but but it is in the plan, and eventually that could be an option. Yeah. Okay. You know, all of us have pets. We don't like to be away from our pets, so uh, we'll have to think about, help you think about that. Okay. So, okay. Patrick Glover, let me ask you a question: uh, What you're doing at the Palm Beach State College? Uh, do you see those kids coming with their electric skateboards? You can allow them to go through the whole place on skateboards? Yes, they'll all be in attendance with their electric skateboards. Uh, I, I'm quite sure we'll try to work something out uh, with the college. I think it's in the works now. Uh, Lizzie, uh, Jay is working on it. Uh, we're expecting about 100 of them. And the ones that have their skateboards, we'll probably get them, give them a discount or something. To that and that's effect. for the graduation, too, because Patrick the- just gave us the announcement that he's going to conduct the Palm Beach State College a graduation party at Extreme July 31st. Is that July, correct? July 31st from 2 to 4. From 2 to 4, there, we'll have all the at, kids. At the yeah. park? At Extreme, yes, at the park. We yeah. got a wonderful uh, plan for them to release and be so excited. They just finished this awesome course throughout the summer. Um, it was a very productive summer for them. And so we're just going to make it very special for them. You know, giving a plug to Palm Beach State College, it's rare that you have an all-summer program for kids the way they do. It isn't just for this electric skateboard. It's for a lot of things. What do you think about what they do there in the summer? Uh, It's a great program. It's a positive outlet. It provides education, uh, tutelage to uh, a population. Uh, It's the youth. So whenever you're talking about the youth, it's a sensitive situation. So anytime we can incorporate electric skateboarding, extreme action park, and things of those uh, uh, the things of that nature, those are intricate parts in the development process of the youth of tomorrow. Hooray. So uh, when do I get to meet you, Elizabeth? Where where do you hold court mostly? Down at the Extreme Park? Oh, yeah. I'm here all the time. <laughs> all the time. Well, you sound young like uh, Lizzie. Uh, young? No, no, not that young. I have a couple <laughs> of <years. laughs> uh, Well, that's okay. You know, as... Um, as Patrick P. and I have been talking, generations, that's what makes the world go around. All different generations yeah. bring different looks of, of things that are happening. And so that's what uh, makes us very special. Yeah, Elizabeth yeah. is very pretty, by the way. I'm sure she is. <laughs> All the women you around. I mean, here, look, look at uh, this wonderful Lizzie. Well, that's good. It keeps everybody on their toes. So um, let's, let's go back to the cart. Now, if I wanted to do this, I've never done this before. Walk me through this. What, what am I going to do? I'm going to get a helmet. Yes. 
And then what am I going to do? Do I get a key to my card or what? No, it's actually quite <laughs> simple. You you hop on your go-kart. Um, one of our staff members will come in, make sure, you know, safety comes first, that you're nice and secure, your seat belt. Can is you go on. with me? Are there two in a cart or only uh, one? I don't know. We can maybe <laughs> figure something out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you, that's right. So, okay, so now I'm in the cart. Now, do I get to go as fast as I want or as slow as I want? Step on the gas and uh, and, and, and then go. The, the, the track actually looks uh, very fast, and it is quite fast, but it's also very safe. We've added a lot of safety features to ensure the safety of, of everyone there, uh, and it's a blast. And when you see the design on the walls where you basically begin in Key West and you make your way through Miami all the way down to Boca Raton, these artists have done a, an incredible job. Uh, I mean, the, the amount of detail, the, co the color combinations are incredible. And, and it's really breathtaking. When you, when you look at that track, it's like, wow, what's going well, on here? And as you're riding the, 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 the go-karts, the go you're watching the view. And we've added you know, the, the, the NASCAR um, car there. And there, there's lizards on the wall. And there's 3D <laughs> images popping out of the wall. Again, giving that experience when people get out of there, they're like, holy crap. <laughs> yeah, right. Did I do that? Wait, let's go back to putting me in this car. So I've always wished I could go faster on I-95. Sometimes I go 80, 85, and I know I'm going too fast, so I pull back. <laughs> but, but my question is, is how do I keep from crashing into other cars? Well, I can tell you that okay, you don't tell want to me. crash into other cars. I know, but how do I keep from doing that? This is not NASCAR. Bumping, rubbing is not racing. Um, we don't recommend that. Um, what you actually want to do is, is the, the, the track is actually pretty wide, so you can accommodate at least 10 to 12 go-karts on the track at one time. And basically, you're driving against the, the clock to get your best lap time, and you don't really want to bump into other people because you could spin them out a little bit, and that's not going to give you the best lap time. That's your goal. You want to go as fast as you can on that track and get the best time. And everything is so, measured by computers as well. So, for example, when we race, you get your, your nickname. You can say either Anita or Heavy Foot, which I think you are. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell. If the shoe fits. So, My number is 69, guys. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, That's my, my race car. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I love that number. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to race it. Okay, uh, so now let's say I'm in. Am I going to get lessons first? Could I get lessons uh, right. so, to, yes. to drive? What, what's going to happen? Yes, you, when you purchase your race and you get set into your, we call them heat, so you're going to get scheduled into your specific heat time. Before you go in, you're going to go into what we have is the racer's lounge. And there, they're going to fit your helmet and go over the rules of the, of the track. So they're going to explain the different color flags and what they mean. So it's a little bit educational as well. And, um, and ha you know, where the gas is, where the brakes are. Um, the track layout, so it really it really helps get you into the mindset of what you can and cannot do out there. And then after um, you race, uh, you're going to be able to see, you're going to get a sheet with your lap times. So you may get confused sometimes with too many cars. You don't know what position you are anymore, but in the end, you will see whoever had the fastest lap time will be the actual winner uh, at the end of the race. So, so that's cool stuff right there. Lizzie, have you done this? Oh, yeah. She's you a spinner. Have. She spins a <laughs> lot. Really? She you know, the best part about it, actually, is that the employees there, uh, they're really awesome with kind of throwing up some signs, letting you know when you should break or go okay. faster. So it's it's important to actually pay attention to those signs as well, which I do. And you said that yeah, right. a child who's nine, uh, nine could actually, do you have a limit? You said a certain size of a child or something can go on this. Oh, well, we have actually, we have three different types of go-karts. We have cadet carts, pro carts, and super carts. And our cadet carts are smaller for, and it is based on size, basically height. Um, we have height charts around, and we can measure to determine if you'll fit in a cadet cart versus a pro cart. And um, sometimes it's not always the height. It's actually your ability to reach the pedals and the steering wheel. You can't turn the cart if you can't turn the wheel. <laughs> so right. we want to make sure you can reach the pedals and the wheel. And we have sometimes seat inserts and foot pedal extensions to help those people as well that can't always fit. 
Yeah, we had um, Shaq actually come in um, to try them <laughs> out, and it was very challenging because he usually drives his car from the back seat. <laughs> so putting him in the go kart wasn't easy. We had Mario Chalmers as well. He's not that tall. Uh, and then Patrick Glover here, I don't know how tall he is, but yeah. we may have to adjust it for him too. Yeah. Look, minor adjustment. Well, it's, it's actually funny that you mentioned the shack because um, because putting him in a go-kart, yes, was funny because his knees came up a little bit high. But, yeah, there is limitations as far as height and weight in the carts as well. But with the cadet and the adult or the pro carts, we can accommodate most of the public. I mean, there's those extremes like shack, but... We still find a way to make it work. Okay, so Patrick Pierce, go ahead and do your promotion for this exciting weekend uh, starting July 17th. I love how you say it. All right, let's do this. (laughs) (laughs) I I really want to take the opportunity to invite everybody listening right now to come and join us July 17th through the 19th for the grand opening of Extreme Action Park. It's going to be packed with lots of activities, lots of important, relevant people, you don't want to miss this. So this weekend of July 17th, please come and join us and let's have some fun together. And it's 5300 Powerline. And uh, you just take a right on commercial at Powerline. And it's just uh, like you pass BJ's and it's right there. And I hope you're going to have enough parking. I'm sure there's a lot of parking there. Oh, yeah. Tons of it. And this, mm-hmm. so bring and now what do you have to wear? Do you have to get suited up to get into this? And I mean, into the, the, the racing part? You just wear uh, your you clothes. You wear don't your wear clothes. Don't wear your clothes. Con- I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, you can come naked, no problem. <laughs> well, You'll win. For you know, sure. You'll win. We, we, <laughs> did, we did have a slogan for a while, race naked. And the, the, you did the have tagline that? was, yeah, it actually was the, one, of our, one of our best slogans. It said, race naked, distract the other drivers. I told you, you know, you did that. See, I'm way ahead of this. Okay. Well, I want to thank you so much for being on with us today, um, Elizabeth. I look forward to meeting you. So Patrick Pierce and Lizzie J and Patrick Glover. And we're just so happy that we were able to do this. And we'll all see you there. And thanks a lot for everything. Thank you, Anita. Thanks, Anita. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.